Hey everybody, Dan here from Sci-Fi Models and Stuff, and today in the studio we're going to be doing an open box review of the Death's Head Hawk Moth Kit from Industria Mechanica. This is a resin multimedia kit in 135th scale, includes some resin pieces, laser cut wood, and also some parchment. Um, so a really neat kit, and uh, let's jump into it. Industria Mechanica is a small garage kit company based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They've been making resin kits for um, probably a little bit over 10 years now, and uh, they make a lot of sci-fi uh, original art pieces, very interesting subjects. And this is one of them. So this is an ornithopter, which is a flying craft that flies by the flapping of the wings. This is the third kit, I believe, in a series of three bug ornithopters. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have all three of the kits. And really, there wasn't a lot of information online about this particular kit. And it is fairly expensive. I think it retails at 125 US. So without there being a lot of information, it can be hard to tell if this kit is going to be worth your while. So I figured let's take an open box review and uh, let's take a look. So when you open it up, most resin kits have just a single instruction page. Um, so this is really pretty typical, but I will note that it is printed very nicely. It's on some nice thick paper. And what's kind of fun is that there's a small poster of the box art. So maybe when this is done, I might get that framed up and put it on the wall. It might look nice here in the studio, but we'll have to see. Okay, as I mentioned before, this is a resin kit. So all resin kits have a little bit of cleanup that need to be done after casting, what they call pouring tabs, which is actually where they uh, poured the resin into the mold. So here's a pretty good example, just there on the edge. Um, for a resin kit, this is actually really good. Um, this is very high quality resin. You can tell there's almost no seam lines. Um, it's very firm and very hard. There's no give in that at all. So it should be a really nice kit. Most of Industry Mechanica's castings are like that. It's really a, a joy to work with. Um, so the, the first piece here uh, looks to be the body of the craft. Um, now looking up closely, you can see that there's some really fine rivet detail all over this, which is really great looking. Um, these are probably less than, I don't know, quarter of a millimeter in depth. Very good. Um, looking here, there's no seam lines, um, no cleanup required really. I mean, this is a perfectly cast piece. Really nice to see. Again, really nice rivet detail. No seam lines that I can see. Little bit of cleanup in the front, but nothing too bad. Um, and it'll actually be hidden by this piece. All the engine parts have really nice rivet detail, but then they also have some gears and uh, surfaces that should take a weathering really nicely. I'm really excited about the, the level of detail included in this. Again, very little cleanup needed. If I'm not mistaken, this is about 60 resin parts or so, which is really quite complicated for a garage kit. The kit includes two figures. These uh, appear to be pretty standard 35th scale figures, um, single piece body, separate heads and separate arms. Let's take a look there. Really fantastic details on these figures that I don't think the camera is picking up. There's buckles on this vest. There's a some sort of feather or fur ruff that is really well textured. High heels is kind of fun. So just real quick, I wanted to piece some of these parts together just so you guys can get an idea of how it looks. And for that, we'll use just a little bit of poster putty, which will allow us to you know, not put anything together permanently. We can take it apart when we're done. And there we have it, just the major body pieces put together. It's about six inches in length here. Cockpit in the back, the wings go somewhere in through there, some glass eyes in the front. Um, 
it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it only took me a few minutes to put everything together, but the fit on this is just perfect. I mean, this this rivals even some Tamiya kits or anything else. I mean, look at that. There's virtually no gap there. Uh, so really, really great uh, kit, really great design. Currently, these kits are in limited run. I believe this kit was uh, the the second run in the 45th in that series out of 50. So at the time of buying this kit, there were only about 100 of these made. Um, so definitely, if you can find one, try to pick one up. Um, definitely worth the money on this for a very unique design. Very unique. This really allows uh, you to be very creative. Since it is an original piece, you can really paint it any way you want. Uh, flawless casting. And, um, yeah. If you're interested in finding out more about Industria Mechanica, you can check them out at industriamechanica.com. Links in the description. They also have a very active Facebook and Instagram account. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about Sci-Fi Models and Stuff Studios, you can check us out on Instagram at Sci-Fi Models and Stuff. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. We have a number of these videos planned for the future, including inbox reviews, unboxing, works in progress, finished products, and tips and tricks. All right, thanks for watching.